Now we will see the case study on income statement and you will learn that how we can prepare the profit and loss account with the help of practical case. Now first we will read this question number one. What question says prepare trading account? We don't have to prepare trading account. We have to prepare income statement now as per new format. So we have to prepare income statement in the books of XYZ Limited for the year ending 31st March 2022 from the following balances. If you see here, opening stock is given, which is 10,000. Then sales is given, which is uh, 80,000. Purchase is also given, which is 40,000. Then sales return is given here, 3,000. Wages is given, 7,000. Carriage inward is given, which is 2,000. Coal and power, 1,000. Octori, 1,500. Purchase return, 2,000. And closing stock is given, 20,000. Along with this data, tax rate is given. And what we have to do, we have to prepare profit and loss account we have already discussed about the format of income statement and we have seen that in top we have to record revenue from operations and after that we will be recording other income and once we will do the total of revenue from operations and other income then we will be able to compute the total revenue and once we have recorded the total revenue then we have to record the expenses right so we have to follow the sequence and accordingly we will be preparing the income statement now if you see here question so purchase is given in the question so obviously purchase is an expenditure right so what we will do this we will be recording into expense side right but along with purchase if you see purchase return is given here which is 2000 rupees right now you have purchased raw material of 40000 rupees out of 40000 raw material you have returned 2000 raw material what you have done you have returned 2000 material so what is going to be the net purchase so here what i will do i will write down the net purchase amount so net purchase is going to be purchase minus purchase return right so here write down purchase return so what is the purchase amount purchase amount is 40000 rupees so here i will select 40000 from here then we have to subtract purchase return so how much is the purchase return amount purchase return is of 2000 rupees right so what is going to be the net purchase net purchase is going to be 40000 minus 2000 right so this is the net expenditure which we have to show into the pnl account right so here in expense side what i will do i will write down purchase amount here right i will write down purchase amount here so how much is the purchase amount purchase amount is 38,000 rupees, right? This is the purchase amount which I have recorded here. Now, apart from this, if you see several other transactions are given, the next transaction which is given is sales. Sales is how much? Sales is 80,000. But along with sales, if you see sales return is also given here, right? Sales is of 80,000. You sold goods of 80,000 to your customers, but out of 80,000 sales, you have, re you have re uh, customers, they have returned goods worth rupees 3,000. So what is going to be your net sales? So here we have to calculate the net sales. So the formula is going to be similar to the net purchase. So here we have to record the sales and we have to subtract the sales return from here. So I will write down sales return here. And here I will write down the sales amount. So sales is of 80,000 rupees. Then we will record sales return. What is the amount of sales return? Sales return is of 3000 rupees, right? So if I do the total here, this plus this. So my net sales is how much? My net sales is of rupees 77,000, right? And this we will be showing in the top of income statement, which is 77,000, right? Now you might be thinking about opening stock and closing stock. This I will be discussing in coming time. Right. Then wages is given. Obviously, wages and salary is an expenditure. So we will be recording wages here in expense side. So here amount is given. So amount of wages is given how much? Amount of wages is here 7,000. So we will be recording 7,000 here. Then if you see what is the next line item given? Next line item is given carriage inward. Carriage inward is an expenditure. Right. When you buy raw material or finished goods from your supplier. Right. So what you do, you bring that raw material of finished goods into your factory, right? So the transport the transportation charges which you will be paying from supplier factory to your factory, that is a carriage inward, right? You will be booking a truck, you will be booking a vehicle to bring finished goods from the supplier factory. The transportation charges which you will be paying, it is 
uh, cost, right? It is a carriage invert, right? So here we will be recording the carriage invert amount, and carriage invert is how much here? Carriage invert amount is two thousand rupees, right? And after that, if you see what is the next expenditure, next expenditure is coal and power, right? You might have paid electricity bill, or you might have incurred some expenses towards manufacture manufacturing of finished goods. So that expenditure is known as coal and power so we will be recording coal and power expenditure here then next line item if you see here <coughs> next line item is given octri octri is a local tax which you have to pay right so octri is paid when you are using the vehicle right if a uh, vehicle is coming from another state to our state right where your factory is located so what do you have to do you have to pay octri right so octri is a local tax and this is also an expenditure right so what we have done we have recorded each and every transaction except opening a stock and closing a stock now this is one of the most important concept which you have to understand right so focus here first we will see uh, opening a stock is of 10000 rupees right here you can see the amount opening a stock is of 10000 rupees and in bottom if you see closing stock is given whose value is 20000 rupees right what is the value of closing stock it is 20000 rupees now what adjustment we will be providing for opening a stock and closing stock, right? We have to understand the importance of opening and closing stock. Then automatically you will be able to understand each and everything in detail. Right? In my previous cases, I have discussed about financial year concept. Right? We have discussed about financial year concept. What is financial year? And we found that financial year starts from first April, right? It starts from first April, and it will closed on 31st March and right? it will get closed on 31st March right so if I take example here we are taking the example of financial year 2023 to 24 right we are taking the example of financial year 2023 to 24 right now you know in previous years some stock was remaining right if I take example of previous financial year so here we are taking the financial year 1st April 2023 to first uh, 31st March 2024 right what is going to be the previous year of 23 and 24 the previous year of 23 and 24 is going to be 22 and 23 right so if I take the example of previous year which is 31st March 2023 right this is the previous year this is the previous year right now in previous year you know some stock was remaining what company has done in previous year company has purchased stock of 1 lakh rupees but but company was able to consume only stock of 90,000 rupees, right? So 10,000 stock was remaining. Again, I'm repeating. In previous year, company has purchased stock of 1 lakh rupees, right? At the end of 31st March 2023, they found that company has used only stock of 90,000 rupees. So what is going to be the remaining stock? Remaining stock is going to be 10,000, right? This remaining stock is a closing stock for previous year. It's right? so on 31st March 2023. What accountant will say that the stock which is remaining is of 10,000 is going to be considered as a closing stock. Right? So previous year stock is going to be closing a stock. That closing stock will become opening stock for current year. Right? So on 1st April 2023, what we will say that there is an opening stock 10, uh, uh, opening stock of 10,000 rupees. Right? The stock which was remaining in previous year that will become opening stock. So here, if I talk about opening stock, so what is the value of opening stock? The value of opening stock is ten thousand. Right, this is the opening stock. Right now, here if you see the opening stock which is given in the question is ten thousand. Right now, at the year end, you know, company found that some stock is remaining, which is twenty thousand. Right at the year, what company found? Company found that some stock is remaining, which is closing stock. Right. So here there is a closing stock of how much? There is a closing stock of 20,000 rupees, right? How much is the value of closing stock? Closing stock value is 20,000 rupees, right? I can take an example. Let's suppose on 1st April 2023, during the year from 1st April 2023, company has acquired raw material of 2 lakh rupees, right? But company was able to consume only raw material of 1 lakh 80,000 rupees. So what is going to be the value of closing stock? The value of closing stock is going to be purchase minus consumption, right? It is going to be purchase minus consumption right? purchase minus consumption this is what a closing stock i think you are able to understand like what is opening stock and what is closing stock now how we will provide the adjustment 
of closing and opening stock in the books of accounts. This is very important concept which you should understand. Right now, in my previous recording, you know, I have discussed about cost of material consumed. What is cost of material consumed? Uh, cost of material consumed is a transaction which tells you that how much raw material company has consumed during the year. Like we have also discussed about matching concept. Now I will be connecting matching concept with this opening and closing stock concept. Like now listen to me very carefully. So in our question, if you see opening stock is given of ten thousand rupees, right, and closing stock value which is given is twenty thousand rupees. Right, closing stock value is twenty thousand rupees. Opening stock means the stock which has been introduced in the beginning of the year. The stock which was remaining in the previous year that will become opening stock, right? And closing stock means the stock which is remaining at the end of the uh, year, right? And here we have seen that company has purchased some raw material during the year, right? What company has done? Company has purchased raw material of thirty-eight thousand rupees, right? We have to record net purchase. So there is a purchase of how much? There is a purchase of thirty-eight thousand rupees, right? So company has acquired press stock of thirty-eight thousand, and in previous year there was a stock of how much? There was a stock of Ten thousand rupees. So, if I ask you that, what total stock company was having in beginning of year or during the year? So, company is having total stock. Company is having total stock of how much? Company is having total stock of opening stock plus purchase. So, company was having total stock of forty-eight thousand rupees during the year. Right? Opening stock is already with the company. When uh, after that, what company has done? Company has acquired fresh stock of. Thirty-eight thousand. So, what is going to be the total stock? Total stock is going to be forty-eight thousand rupees, right? Now, if you see, out of forty-eight thousand stock, twenty thousand stock is remaining with the company at the year end, right? Third, what twenty thousand stock is remaining with the company at the year end. So, if I ask you to find out the consumption of stock, so how you will calculate the consumption of stock? Here, I will write down the closing stock. Closing stock is of how much? Closing stock is of twenty thousand. So it is very easy to find out that how much raw material company has consumed during the year. Simply, you have to take total stock and you have to subtract the closing stock, right? So we will be able to find out that how much raw material company has consumed during the year. Company has consumed uh, raw material of twenty-eight thousand rupees, right? Now, now here, if I write down the formula, right, that how we can calculate the cost of material consumed. So what can be the formula here? Just try to recall what I have said right now. If I want to find out the total stock, so what I have to do? I have to Take the sum of opening stock and purchases. And what I have to do? I have to take the sum of opening stock and purchases. Right now, if I want to find out the consumption, so I have to reduce closing stock. Right from total stock, I have to reduce closing stock. So just try to derive the formula. Just try to rethink. So what is going to be the formula for cost of material consumed? Formula is going to be opening stock plus purchases minus closing stock. Right. This is going to be the Formula here we have to reduce minus closing stock. This is how what we can do. We can find out the cost of material consumed. Hopefully you are able to understand, right? This formula we have to use. And here what I have done, I have written purchases, right? So instead of writing purchases here, what we will do? We will take cost of material consumed. Right? We will take cost of material consumed. So here I will write down cost of material consumed. And what is the formula to find out cost of material consumed? Formula is opening stock. So here. Opening a stock is given in the question, then plus purchases, right? So what is the net purchase? Net purchase is of thirty-eight thousand rupees and minus closing stock. So here I will write down. Uh, here I will select closing stock. So this is the net purchase which we have calculated right now. Right? So if you see the <coughs> solution here, so we have already calculated the consumption which is twenty-eight thousand, right? Now what adjustment we will be providing for the closing stock, right? This closing stock will become the opening stock for next year. Right. So here, company is having closing stock of twenty thousand rupees, which has not been consumed in this year. That will be transferred into the income statement and balance sheet of next year. Right. That will form part of uh, financial statement in next year. Right. Now, now here, if you see, total purchase and opening stock is of forty-eight thousand rupees, but we are recording only expenditure of twenty-eight thousand rupees into the books of accounts. Now, now here you might be thinking, why we are not recording forty-eight thousand rupees, right? We have discussed about matching concept. What matching concept says? We have to record only those expenditure into the books of accounts which are necessary anchor to generate revenue for this year, right? So, how much raw material we have consumed during the year? We have consumed raw material of twenty-eight thousand rupees only. 
That's the reason instead of 48,000, we are recording expenditure of 28,000. Like again, I'm recalling the matching concept. It is one of the most important concept. And just because of this concept, the closing stop, uh, closing stop concept arises, right? So what matching concept says, we have to record only those expenditures which are necessarily incurred to generate revenue for the year, right? So what we have done, we have consumed the raw material of 28,000 to produce or to manufacture finished goods, right? And that raw material is the actual cost for this year. So that's the reason we have to record cost of 28,000 only into the books of accounts. So this 20,000 closing stock, we will be transferring into the balance sheet in asset side. But I will be discussing about the balance sheet in detail. So you will be getting more clarity about it. So I think you understood uh, which expenses we have to record into the books of accounts. So other income is not given in the books. So we won't be considering other income. What is going to be the total revenue? Total revenue is going to be 77,000 plus other income. So here total revenue is of 77,000. Right now we have to record the total expenses also. So here I will take the total of all the expenses. So here I will be including all the expenses, cost of material consumed, wages, carriage inward, coal and power and octroi, right? And if I present to you, so total expense is of 39,500. Like this is the total expense here. Yeah. Now, if I want to find out the profit before tax, so what I have to do, I have to subtract uh, total expenses with total revenue. And here we will be able to compute the profit before tax, which is 37,500, right? Now you have to pay the tax. If your business is a profitable business, you have to pay the tax. How much tax you will be paying? Obviously 30% tax you will be paying. So 30% of profit before tax we have to take here. So 30% of profit before tax, which is 11,250 and we will subtract this tax from PBT and we will be able to compute the profit after tax, right? So this is how, what we have to do. We have to prepare income statement. I think you understood this concept. I will be taking one more case uh, on income statement. So you will be getting more clarity. Thank you.